Okay, welcome everyone. Today's topic is opposing imbalances in the order flow. My name is Michael Valtos. I'm the founder and trader of orderflows.com. First, a brief disclaimer. This presentation is for educational and informational purposes only and should not be considered a solicitation to buy or sell a futures contract or make any other type of investment decision. Futures trading contains substantial risk and it's not for every investor. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading, and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Okay, so you know, the topic for today is opposing imbalances, or uh, I think I should say opposing stacked imbalances. And what that means is, you know, what causes a market imbalance is when you have you know, more aggressive buyers or more aggressive sellers in proportion to what's, you know, what's being traded on the bid and the offer. Now, when you say aggressive buying, aggressive selling, when a person is being aggressive, they're going to a, a price. You know, they're selling at the market or they're buying at the market. So, you know, this is the order flows trader footprint chart. And you know, in it, you'll see blue numbers, you'll see red numbers, you'll see black numbers. So when you see a, a red number, that's telling you that there's aggressive selling into the bid. So for example, here at this price of uh, 164.80, you know, one lot traded there versus 90 on the bid. So you have a selling imbalance because the ratio between what traded on the offer versus what traded on the bid is above a certain amount in the settings. You know, if you go to the actual indicator, I'll pull it up here for you. You can see imbalance trigger in percent. You know, it's set at 400. So if it's over 400 percent, you know, obviously one against 90 is is well above 400 percent. You'll get the red number. Just as you know, 15 against 152. This this comparison, 152 against 15, you know, it's it's 10 to one. What you're looking for is an imbalance of selling that's greater than four to one and for buying the opposite is true so 15 against 190 you know if if you know if you were comparing this 152 against 15 you can see it's an imbalance here but if this number was 1500 1500 you'd have a buying imbalance here instead of a selling imbalance so that's why you see you, know, you see here 15 against 190 you see the blue number that's telling you there's a buying imbalance here 225 against 15, a selling imbalance. 419 against zero, a selling imbalance. You know, on way on the moves lower, you're seeing selling. You should be seeing selling imbalances, and it moves off the lows. You should be seeing, or moves higher. You should be seeing buying imbalances. Now, why is that important? Well, you know, everybody always says off. You know, in the futures, it's a zero sum game for every buyer. There's a seller. Yes, that's true. However, there's different types of buyers. There's different types of sellers. And, you know, it's usually broken down between aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers and passive buyers and passive sellers. If someone is sitting on the bid, okay, you know, say here at uh, 164.79, you know, they're working a 79 bid. They're being, they're trying to buy, but passively. Someone that's trying to sell at 164.80 is a passive seller. They're willing to work an offer there at 164.80. Now the person you know that's trying to buy at 164.79 will get tired of waiting and and can get aggressive and buy it at 164.80. He'll move his price up, you know, to the market to get done at 164.80. He's he would be the aggressive buyer. So you know, generally, I mean, the easy way to remember it is, you know, when someone pays the market or sells at the market, they're the aggressor. If someone is happy to work a bid or work an offer they're passive now you know so that explains you know sort of the different types of buyers and sellers now when you get imbalances that are multiple imbalances in a bar so you know sometimes you're going to get like this bar here it's got two imbalances but when you get them stacked here you got one two three in a row that's what you call a stacked imbalance now you can set how many you want to to look at you know this is a four range wooden chart so you can see imbalance cluster size you know if you have three stacked minimum of three you know you, you change the setting there and I'll get into a couple of these other settings in a bit but you know the important thing is you know the 
the imbalance trigger percentage 400 so you got to have at least a 400 uh, percent imbalance you know 35 against 354 49 against 321 28 against 205 these are all greater than 400 percent you know uh, 43 against 58 here is not greater than 400 percent that's why you don't have an imbalance and the cluster size 3 is when you have three in a row stacked together it'll give you a zone either the red or green so here you have a buying imbalance okay now take things in context of the market you know our low for the day is this red line 164.69 and you're getting a buying imbalance just right off the low you know this is happening you know at 78 76 77 78 and you're starting to go a little bit higher okay so you know you're thinking hey you know I see aggressive buying coming in you know it's the first sign of really aggressive buying in the sense that you have market imbalances since you know since earlier this is you know 218 you know you see imbalance 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 you know one buying imbalance selling imbalance selling imbalance selling selling you know but now you're getting a sign that hey you know maybe the selling is, is over and buyers are taking over the market okay you know you should be looking possibly to get long then what happens in the next bar you have what i call an opposing imbalance immediately after it almost in the same price area you get a stack selling imbalance you got one two three you know so initially you had you know what was kind of bullish looking here with the buying imbalance all of a sudden you get a selling a stack selling imbalance coming in now why is that important well you know imagine you know you're coming off your lows you're seeing some buying come in but then you know someone's saying hold hold up I'm not done selling and when you see opposing imbalances like this, usually you don't usually get them right after each other. You know, usually it might be a few bars later, and the price might be a bit higher or a bit lower. Um, but when you're seeing it, you know, super close, go with the second imbalance. You know, you're going with the most recent, you know, what the market is telling you. And it's telling you right now, you know, when you're at this bar here, you're thinking, hey, you know, the market is telling me it's going up. You know, I can see the buyers are coming in. You know, I should be getting long. Well, if you're long and then you, you're staring at this, get out of the position and get short. It's going to follow, more often than not, it's going to follow the second imbalance. Stacked imbalance, rather. And what happens? We come in, boom. You know, so his market gave you a chance of saying, hey, is it not going any higher yet? Get out of your position and get short. I mean, you know, it's up to you if you want to get short, but what this is telling you when you're seeing this is telling you, you know, what the market was telling you earlier has changed, and now it's telling you this is invalidated. You know, don't get married to a trade once you're in it. You know, if you have conflicting information immediately after you get into the trade, get out. Don't let it blow you out of your position. You know, the market is giving you a chance to get out at, you know, at a reasonable loss, you know, maybe a, a few ticks. Take it. You know, would you rather turn a few tick loss into a to a ten tick loss? You know, would you get out at minus three, or would you rather get out at minus ten? You know, it's better to get out at minus three. And if you get short off this, then okay. You know, that that's still a legitimate trade by itself. And what happens? We just go down, make new lows. You know, so again, normally you don't get them like this, uh, one right after the other. Usually it's you know, you have the buying imbalance, and then a few bars later, you get a stacked selling imbalance. In this case, it's one right after the other, and this is just a sure, sure sign to, hey, turn mother's picture to the wall and get out of that position. You know, so you came down from the, the 70s, you know, 72, 73, 74, down to, you know, 66, and then, you know, just sort of hung around. Didn't even come back up into that area. You know, it sort of gave him into that area where you could get short again and you know back down to 65 again so you know when you see opposing Im stacked imbalances go with the second you know if get out of your position at the minimum get out of your original position but ideally you should be getting short because it's got a very high chance of continuing on in the second imbalance formation so you know if this was a selling imbalance and followed by a buying imbalance stack then I, you know, I'd be going with the buying imbalance. In this case, you got buying imbalance followed by the selling imbalance. Go with the selling imbalance. Go with the second imbalance that you're seeing. Now, you'll notice there's zones. There's zones. You have this 
line this is sort of green you got a red one now why do I have that okay go back to the indicator settings you can see it here it's called the box size 5 so it'll print out five levels uh, five bars five bars out so you know this is so you have your first bar here where you got the signal right then green one two three four five it stops there then the red is five also one two three four five and with stacked imbalances really what you're looking for you're looking for them to hold over the next four or five price zones now when you have opposing imbalances ideally you know look for you know it's not something that occurs every day you know it could go a couple days without it occurring but it doesn't have to be one right after the other you know this buying imbalance here you could have the stack selling imbalance somewhere in here as long as it's within this five zone area it's still important still follow it and usually you'll get the buying imbalance here the market will go up go sideways and then you know maybe it's trading here and then you get a stack selling imbalance you know go with the stack selling imbalance when it's you know within that five zone five price bar area of the initial imbalance you know that's what you want to do so this was in the buns this was today um june june 13th in the september buns this is uh what time is it here you know it's, you know, it's uh, when it happened was you know 2 47 chicago time you know so these things they happen you know sometimes they happen uh you know once or twice a day but then it could go three days without it happening so you know the point is watch for them you know these are great trading opportunities you know when you're trading you're looking for low risk opportunities and you have to have a few of them because you know not every you know if you're just sitting here watching one chart one market looking for this every day yeah you, know, you could go days without seeing it so if you're watching a different few markets then you know you're going to get more opportunities you know think of it as you know this is a setup that you could have in your pocket your back pocket when you see it take it you know take the trade and and go for it you know you're not going to get you're not going to make any money sitting on the sidelines um, you have to step up to the plate and and take trades if you don't take trades you know you're not going to have a chance to make any money Okay, so thanks for watching this video. To learn more about the trading software that I'm using in this presentation and how you can profit from order flow trading, visit my website www.orderflows.com or subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's a lot of videos there and you know I try to put up a video you know every 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 day if I could, but you know sometimes it's time permitting. Um, you know, but sure, you check out the YouTube channel. There's a lot of other uh, instructional videos that I've that I've made for you guys or you know visit my website you know I've, I've written a lot up there I mean now I'm sort of moving more into the videos it's a little bit easier than writing or you know just shoot me an email um, you can do that on my website and again you know the order flows trading software software that I developed with another trader that you know presents the market in a I think an easy to read format so, you know, check it out and check out the other videos and thanks for watching this. Bye-bye.